So let's tap on architecture as a profession and the 30 year of the Pritzker Prize being in the scene. You've been the only woman Arab architect to have won the prize. Do you think the profession is gender biased? I don't think it's a profession. What is it then? I think people are biased. I mean... And women aren't into it then? No, I think that women... Well, if I observe people who were me at school or people who I taught, there were many women architects who actually most people were better in class than men. I mean, men would not like to hear that, but um, equi equally good. I think it's very, the continuity is a problem. Mm -hmm. And I think they, I mean, you know, people to really excel in anything in the level of confidence and encouragement and support. And that doesn't exist everywhere. In a sense, it's almost easier for women to have the support and the encouragement within, within actually the Arab world environment because there is a, you know, you have your family, you have, you know, it's, the family is a larger unit, you know, it's not long, it's not about, you know, the husband and wife and the child. So you have a bigger support system. And I think, like, my friends in Iraq who went into architecture or medicine, uh, I think at the time found much easier maybe than their counterparts in the West because they had a support system around them. Um, but in the West, I mean, I had prejudice because I was an Arab and I was a woman and also I did unconventional stuff, so I'm not sure which came first. You know, one can say all of it together was too much. Yeah, a woman in the profession was very difficult. Uh, it might be still difficult. It's easier. I mean, the difference is enormous in 20, 30 years. Um, the the foreign problem was a was always a problem. Uh, you know, doing things like winning Cardiff just after the Iraq Gulf War was not a very popular thing, and I do think there was some prejudice there. Uh, so. I'm always also I'm, I will never be never be part of the boys' network. I mean, so you know. Despite the interest and tremendous amount of press, we don't have many commercial projects in the UK nor in America or anywhere. I mean, maybe in other countries, but not in these. So who supported you, or did you feel like you had to go it alone most of the time? No, I had a tremendous amount of support from uh, my parents, um, from, well, you know, students of mine or colleagues. Uh, from my teachers, from yeah, from these people. I mean, I always had a very big kind of student following. It was still very difficult. I mean, I bumped into a, friend, a student of mine only a few days ago. I haven't seen him maybe in, I don't know, he keeps in touch with me, but I haven't seen him in maybe 18 years. And he said, my God, you had to fight. I mean, I, you know, I sometimes forget it, but it was a fight. And, um, but so, I know, I, I couldn't have done it. I mean, there were endless sleepless nights uh, you know, in the office, um, I couldn't do it on my own. It's not, it's not a architecture unlike all the other things. It's not a kind of a, a lonely profession. You know, it's, you've got to do it with a team. And team structure is very important, and the team is, is uh, teamwork is very important. And um, because everybody brings something else to the table, you know, and, and I think if we work well together, that 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 layering, uh, in terms of input, uh, is a very enriching, and exciting process. Architecture is, is a fantastic profession. It's very difficult. It's extremely. Uh, there's no reason for it to be so difficult. And honestly, I mean, I always tell every kid when my mother, "Oh, great, do it. It's fantastic." But it's really, I don't know what I'll do, but. It's uh, too, maybe one has to work on making it easier, but it's just too painful, you know. It requires an incredible time. It's incredibly inventive and it's very exciting, but it's very, 
very demanding, you know, to do it well. And that's why most of us do it badly. And people, on top of all of it, people don't have respect for you. I mean, if you're a doctor, they don't argue with you how you should treat them. If you're a lawyer, they don't argue with you how you should advise them. If you're an accountant, they don't tell you how to make your, you know. But with the architecture, if you're a musician or whatever, I mean, all the arts, I would say, are not respected enough. They're very difficult. They think it's kind of some sort of whimsical, you know, artistic thing, you know. But it's very difficult to fine tune and refine these things, you know, and um, in all the professions and in, in the arts, and they're not given enough. You know, they just could be cancelled. You have no control. How can you control as an architect? If you're an artist, you know, okay, you have a problem if, if people don't want to buy your work or they don't have the money like that now or whatever. But, you know, you can still paint. You know, you can paint or sculpt or whatever. If you're an architect, you know, you can, you can, you can dream, but, uh, you know, but if you, there is no client, there's no, you know, if things change politically somewhere, there's economic crisis. I mean, we have no control on it. And so uh, it's, 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 it's uh, tough.